All right, welcome back, everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back, and it is time for another StarCraft II one versus one replay cast. Today we are on the map Golden Wall, and in the bottom, let me just flip that there. In the bottom right-hand side of the map, we have got none other than Bian, currently under the alias of Speak Now, and in the bottom left-hand side of the map, taking on Bian. Representing Team NV, it's Bunny. Uh, Bunny, of course, an incredibly good Terran player who's been around uh, consistently in the GSL for the most part. I think he missed like a season here or there. Uh, but uh, yeah, Bunny, uh, one of the stable Terrans is what I'll say. Like he's not he's not going out and winning championships. I think his best result in like the past few years was maybe like a top four. I want to say. But, uh, yeah, he's a pretty stable Terran, if you think of someone who's really good at StarCraft, but doesn't stick out a lot. And that's why it's exciting to see Byun playing against someone like Bunny, with Byun just coming back to pro gaming, uh, making a big splash so far. However, the question is, will Byun uh, be able to take down the... Will he be able to tear down Bunny, uh, the stable Terran, basically, and uh, sort of surpass him? Uh, so we'll see. If Bion's going to be at uh, Bunny's level or not. And uh, I think it should be an exciting TVT. The map Golden Wall is always exciting. I feel like it's been a long time since I cast a TVT. Let alone a TVT on Golden Wall. So yeah, this should be a fun match. As far as the builds go, we've got Reaper Expands. It's no surprise on this map. Because it's just one, one pathway up. No cliffs really to jump up. And so that drastically determines the build. Uh, looks like Bunny's SCV got harassed quite a bit by Bion. However, Bion's SCV's got to run away now, as Bunny's Reaper is popping on out on the map. Marine follow-up for both these players. Factory's going to be on the way as well for both of them. Uh, interestingly enough, Bion goes for the... Yeah. Bion goes for the Depot and then the Factory, whereas Bunny went for the Factory and then the Depot. That's something that's very, very minimal to notice. But uh, players do have do have their preferences as far as their builds go. I don't think it really affects things too much. Too much either way. But uh, yeah, we take a look here. We have got Bunny. Just uh, chilling with his units on the ramp. bion has got his slightly less chilling as his marines on patrol. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of tough to say where exactly you should put your units. I do like, do like Bion's positioning. Because uh, when the units, if, like, say your opponent was doing, like, I don't know, like an odd Reaper run-in or something up the ramp, they're probably going to, like, try and sort of circle up. So, I don't know. That That's also something really little that doesn't really matter as we wait for this game to heat on up. However, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a fan of Byun or Bunny or the Terran versus Terran matchup and you want to see more of it, make sure to go ahead and slap that like button. If we can hit 50 likes on this video, that would be awesome to see. And now we take a look. Reaper moving out on the map for Bunny. Uh, the game's getting to the point which a Reaper's not too significant, so he figures that it's worth the scout. It jumps on up. Bion's going to try and intercept this with his own Reaper. Looks like he will be able to get it before it gets on up into the main base. So that's always nice, shutting that down. Uh, of course, Bunny did confirm that there was a natural base. No surprise there. And Bion behind this is going to be going for a Raven. And probably a Cyclone to go with that, I imagine. Once he's got the gas, that is. All the while, Bunny hasn't started up his Raven till just now. As he wanted the quicker Cyclone, he's even got a bunker on his high ground. And Bion's actually foregoing the Raven. Or foregoing the Cyclone, which is pretty interesting, I'll say. Not relying on that anti-air. And uh, yeah, I think that is pretty interesting. The choice for him to do that. Uh, Bunny does have a third command center on the way, so gonna be gonna be playing pretty macro focused. Bion jumps up with his own Reaper, but oh, his Reaper does a much better scout than that of than that of Bunny's did. I mean, he confirmed that there was a third command center on the way. That is huge to know. This early on in the game, like he scouted that pretty much as soon as he possibly could have. So that was really well done there, by really well done there by Bion. He's moving out with his Raven, going to be going for some auto turret harass. However, of course, you got to be very careful, seeing as how there is indeed a Cyclone out on the map, and a Cyclone locks onto a Raven will kill it pretty darn quickly. Both players getting their stim on the way. 
like uh, Bion, he's opting to get his barracks just staying on two bases longer than Bunny. He's getting his 1-1, one, one, uh, or his eBay's on the way, so he'll be able to start up his 1-1. One, one. Whereas for Bunny, since he went for the third CC, it's going to be much later. So definitely differences in the build here. I'm not sure whose I prefer. I think, uh, I think that I prefer, uh, like, I do like the third CC play from Bunny. Like, it always seems a little risky not going for a decently timed third in TVT. And Beyond still very well could drop a third relatively soon. However, the fact that it was scouted right away by Beyond really, really hurts Bunny. Uh, but Bion, he's a confident player enough in his micro and his drops and everything, it seems. He's like, yeah, I'll just fire up my 1-1, one, one, have all these units that I'll be able to play around with. Since I didn't invest in my third base and start putting the pressure on you. And if there's someone like Bion out on the map trying to drop you or do whatever, it's going to be a little bit terrifying to hold on. So we'll see if Bionny's able... If Bionny... <laughs> that's the new one. We'll see if Bunny... Uh, the Bionni would be the Bion, Archon, Bion Bunny Archon, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we'll see if uh, we'll see if Bunny is able to keep a lid on it, or if Bion will be able to uh, get some good damage done. And we do see Bion starting to move out. He does fire up his own third CC. It's going to be a little bit later than Bunny's, as Bunny's is already landing with an orbital done. So Bunny will have a slight economic lead, however. Bion's going to have the slightly quicker upgrade, so nothing too major has really happened this game at all so far. And so it's really quite minimal what what has taken place. We now see now see Bunny starting to move out onto the map. He knows that uh, Bion's, Bion could be trying a frontal attack. He's relying on his sensor tower to defend his main base. A siege tank is set up at the third base of Bion. However, Bion, of course, he does have... Uh, or no, did Bion actually lose his Raven? Pardon me, I must have I must have missed that. Oh my, terrible observing last game. Uh, we do see Bion charging in with his stimmed marines. They don't have their 1-1 one -one quite yet. Bion loads on up, but yeah, I guess that uh I guess that the Cyclone did end up killing that Raven. Uh, as Bion went for some harassment. Nothing nothing too notable came out of that. We see Bionny has or Bunny has his Raven forward. These guys are hard to cast, man, the the two Bs. Uh, yeah, Bunny has his Raven forward. He's tossing down an auto turret. He's charging forward with all of his Marines. However, he is fighting without his 1-1, but it does look like he's got enough, the auto turret, enough to help break that tank line. And all of a sudden, Bion is repelled. Bunny's going to be able to get his third base up and mining, and he retains a nice SCV lead. Bion's third base isn't at orbital yet. Bion is just getting his extra racks up. He did have a drop go off in the main base while this was going on. However, Bunny is quick enough on the draw to react to this. We see these players doing a little bit a little bit of silly micro. Cyclone does get killed off, so it's not going to be able to pick off that many back. However, Byun could lose his units here very well. And uh, Overstate is welcome again, I feel. All right, so we see we see Bunny just starting to fire up his extra racks. Byun's were a little bit quicker. They're already done. No player has, or actually no, pardon me, Byun has built an armory. So he'll be able to start his 2-2, keep his upgrade, keep his upgrades better for longer. Uh, whereas Bunny, he's just focused more on the economy. He's gonna have a very strong economy. He lost his, he lost his uh, sensor tower. Uh, he lost his sensor tower in his main base, so he's gonna have to rebuild that. Bion snuck this medivac into the main base. He's gonna get a drop off. Gonna need a siege tank drop to get an SDV or two. Even get a supply depot with that drop on, which will actually supply block Bunny a little bit. Nicely done, and. Uh, now we take a look here. In comes Bion, going to be looking to push forward, but there's a Raven, there's plenty of Marines. I don't think this force is going to have what it takes. And all in all, I think that Bunny is actually playing a pretty solid game against Bion. He goes for a scout. He even sees that SCV move into the north, which probably reveals that Bion is going to be going for a fourth base to try and, uh, try and get some sort of advantage in this game. He hasn't really made anything happen just yet this match. And so far, Bunny is just doing a good job holding on. Bion is starting to inch forward. He does a scan on on the army of Bunny, and Bunny didn't have his tank siege. An anti-armor missile goes down. Bunny has units coming from the north to help reinforce this, but in the end, Bion takes a really good fight, nabbing up those siege tanks. And uh, now, all of a sudden, Bunny's in a very uncomfortable spot, which he's been cut off from his natural base to his third. Bion's got his fourth on the way, he's got the quicker 2-2 upgrades. 
It looks like Bunny is going to try and collapse on top of this, send those units packing, get some medivac, nicely done. Marine production really starting to kick off for both players. We see 9 and 10 Marines on the production tab at a time. That's just these guys' production. Again, dropping that, uh, that reinforced supply depot there. We see a big drop for Bjorn. Gonna be heading towards the main base for Bunny. He's got one tank, a few turrets, and a few Marines to help defend this. Bunny's gonna stim. He pulls the SCVs because he knows he needs to deal with this big drop. His tank is getting some really good shots off on the army of Bjorn. Is it gonna be enough to clean it up though? I'm not sure it is. The tank is probably gonna go down. The Raven comes in for Bunny, tosses down auto turrets to work away on some of these Marines, and they do deal a fair bit of damage. And it looks like that Bunny will be able to clean this up. All the while, he's got an attack on the top right side. That early fourth base that Bion got is now going to be gone. And there goes that advantage for him. All the while, Bunny rebuilding his own fourth at... Or building his own fourth at his third, pardon me. Both players taking a blow. It looks like Bunny did lose quite a few SDVs in that attack, though. So he's down to 49. So Bion will have the better economy for the time being. Uh, it looks pretty darn good for Bion, I'd say. He's got these extra racks up, so he's going to have really good production. He doesn't have the fourth base, though, so he is going to have to elect to rebuild that. We see a couple of Liberators out on the map for Bion. I'm not sure what they're doing, whether they were looking for some harassment or what. Uh, Bion, though, so I imagine he'll use those units pretty darn well lately. And if we do take a look right now, Bion starts his armor, his plus two attack is about to finish so he can jump right into his plus three attack in a second and then uh yeah the game is the game is stabilizing a little bit right now but i think i think i am favoring beyond spot we see bunny's army at, i'm not really liking the positions of bunny's army right now with beyond moving forward for another attack like just the the space between the second and the third can be a really punishing location on this map if uh, if your opponent's army sneaks up on you so we see Bunny setting up tanks on the high ground, but uh, all of a sudden, Bion's coming forward. He's got a lot of Marines to his name. He's going to stim forward, run into this siege tank. Probably not the best decision, really clumping up there, eating a couple of tank shots, losing some Marines. So a good fight for Bunny. All the while, Bion's planning another drop, though, heading towards the main base. That one, not going to get too much done, though, I feel. There's a tank. There's Marines already in position waiting for this. The Marines are going to stim right underneath the drop. Bion's going to lose one medivac, two medivacs, all gone. Just like that, big losses for the Terran player, for the Red Terran player. Planetary Fortress getting established for Bunny, that's going to be a rock. Marines ain't going to be able to pick that off, and that's actually an important point. If Bion had turned that base in the top right to a planetary right away, would he have been able to keep it alive against all those Marines? Potentially. So uh, Bion, he's coming back and he's looking strong, but he's not looking, uh, not looking flawless. Uh, but then again, I guess, I guess Bion never really was, but anyway, we see him charging on in. This is a very questionable fight. He's fighting without his tanks. He's having to run away from the army of Bunny. Bunny's gonna keep going forward into Bion's siege tanks, and I think the tanks of Bion are not gonna be enough to hold on, so all of a sudden, Bion's supply going down quite a bit, and he's gonna be getting pushed back. Bunny's might want to take this the next step. He's got a decent chunk of bio left. However, Bion's reinforcements have started to roll on out. Bion does have up his fourth base now. He's got mules mining at it. Both these players on equal bases. Looks like Bion just lost some, or Bunny just lost some mining time to these Liberators. Now this Liberator getting set up at his natural base. Going to be killing off more SCVs. Keeping in mind that Bion has reta retained an SCV lead this entire game. If we do take a look right now, Bunny's going to be going for a big drop into the main base of Bion. There are Marines out. More Marines coming on in too to get on top of this. And I think that is going to make Bunny change his mind. And all of a sudden, if we do take a look, Bunny's drops deflected. Whereas Bion just ran across the map to the natural. Killed Bunny's natural base orbital command. The tank's getting set on up, a lot of vulnerable supply depots, and the marines can run towards the third, slaughter the SCVs there, and Bunny's army is just floating around effectively, uselessly. There's enough units for Bion all over the place, and I think Bunny kind of just played himself. He's it, he's in a bit of a checkmate spot now. He can't unload his army into the main base of Bion. There's just far, far too much, and all of a sudden, he, his natural's gone, his third is gone. Yes, he's got this planetary fortress, but his economy was just slashed. He's going to try and repair this base against the Marines that Bion has, but uh, the tanks will just will just do the job that needs to be done. I think Bionni's Bunny, pardon me, has got to take a fight. It's not going to be easy, though. He doesn't have 3-3 three started. He's pinned. He's barely mining. Bion, I think, has been able to take this game. Bunny was playing a pretty nice defensive game for the most part this entire match, 
And then when he decided to go on the offensive, that's when it really went sour for him. Like, he's going to try this drop again, but Bion knows that that's what Bunny wants. He doesn't know where his army is. He knows that it's got to be floating around somewhere, and he sees it. He totally sees it, and as a result, I think Bunny is just going to fizzle out here. He drops on top of Bion, but there's just too many Marines. There's too much here for Bion. Bunny's army getting unloaded out of the medibag dies as it lands, though, and GG gets called. Bion is able to take the match. Very well played by Bion. I really like that. I really like that one. And if we do take a look, it's the... Uh, it's pretty darn good for, uh, it, it was a pretty darn good showing for Bion. I liked what Bunny was doing till he went for that questionable drop. I guess he felt that he needed to get something done, but, uh, those drops really have to be a surprise, and they're kind of predictable, uh, if, if you're not unsure. So we did see Bion, he rallied some of his marines out here, he had the tank, he, then he was pulling back reinforcements, but, uh, one little thing that I do want to look into, we're gonna go, gonna go a ways back here. Uh, while we do like a little bit of a little bit of post analysis here uh make sure to hit that like button ladies and gentlemen uh yeah hit hit that like button join the discord which is linked down below subscribe so bunny scans his face to realize that it's there and then he's like okay i gotta go kill this off and uh yeah the base is done now but yeah even if Bion had started this into a pf it never would have never would have finished in time i don't think so that was that was just one thing that i was wondering about but uh, yeah, thanks so much to everyone for tuning in. I already said uh, I think all this, all the uh, promotion sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Laughing Games.